Five Minute Pearls for Clinical Practice. This week's pearl is called Read the Chart. Hello, this is Dr. Brian Morris, and this is 5-Minute Pearls for Clinical Practice, where you will learn the tools to provide exceptional care for your patients. This is the weekly podcast where you will be introduced to time-tested, evidence-based patient care strategies that aren't always taught in schools or training programs, but are nonetheless crucial for success in clinical practice. And each podcast episode is about five minutes. During some of these podcast episodes, we will review simple, practical, important things to remember as we see patients. These are concepts that help us to take better care of our patients when time is limited. This week's pearl is very simple, but it is one that is crucial to remember. This pearl is to always read the chart and be familiar with the patient and his or her circumstances before you enter the room. There's few things that reduce patient confidence more than feeling that their healthcare provider is not fully aware of why he or she is in the office that day. Each patient should feel special and valued and that their time with us is almost sacred. An office visit is the patient's time. And to make this happen, we need to enter the room fully aware of why the patient is there. What are the active issues that he or she has been dealing with? What are the chronic issues that need revisiting? What tests have been done or need to be done soon? What medications does the patient take? Did the patient recently have a procedure or a surgery? Will the patient be having a surgery or a procedure soon? We should walk into the room to see each patient having read the chart and being fully aware of the circumstances related to that visit. We should never walk into the room and start reading the chart and then ask the patient questions, making it clear that we are not up to speed with what is going on. We need to take the 30 or 60 seconds to read through the chart or whatever other note system your office may have and be ready to discuss all the issues when you walk in the room. If a specific question comes up, we can certainly take a moment and read through the chart to answer that question or to get more information, but we should have an overall feel for what's going on before we enter the room. Patients have confidence in us when we are prepared for the visit and are ready to make the time that we have together as worthwhile and productive as possible. Please make sure that no matter how busy things get, that you don't forget this important principle. Read through the chart, familiarize yourself with everything that's been going on with the patient before you enter the room. Let's keep the dialogue going. Let me know what you think of this week's Pearl for Clinical Practice. You can email me at drmorris at 5minutemd.com. That's D-R-M-O-R-R-I-S at 5minutemd.com. You can post your comments and your experiences on the 5 Minute MD Facebook page. You can follow us on Twitter at Brian Morris MD, And you can visit us anytime on our website, 5minutemd.com. Let your friends and your colleagues know about the podcast and make sure that you are subscribed on iTunes. When you are subscribed on iTunes, you will receive new podcast pearls as soon as they are posted. And if you have a few minutes and you enjoy what we're doing here on this podcast, please head over to iTunes and leave us a review. Thank you so much for listening. I will see you at the next five. (laughs) 